Hello students, my name is Niyati Said and thanks for watching Edupedia Word videos. My topic for the presentation is the 11th section of circulatory system that is blood clotting or blood coagulation. Blood clotting is a key point of control for many processes. Blood clotting is a hemostasis. It is an important protective mechanism of the body. It seals wounds. For example, after an injury, it stops the bleeding and starts the healing process. Okay. And uh, blood coagulation, it takes place in two phases. Which are those two phases? First is primary. That is also known as cellular hemostasis. It serves to quickly stop bleeding and minimize blood loss. The injured cells of the endothelium, a thin layer of cells on the inner wall of the blood vessels and the underlying layer of cells, they emit signals or messengers which enable the blood platelets that is thrombocytes to accumulate in the region of injured blood blood vessels and thus it forms a plug that provisionally seals the wound and secondary is a plasmatic hemostasis in which the coagulation is initiated at the same time okay so the blood clotting is an important protective mechanism of the body it seals the wound for example after an injury it stops the bleeding and starts the healing process uh, I have told you the two phases primary and the hemostasis and the secondary hemostasis okay now comes uh, this uh, blood coagulation is uh, controlled by signaling casket consisting of a 13 coagulation factors which interact and activate each other at the end of the coagulation cascade fibrinogen is converted into fibrin a network a network of fibrin fibers it reinforces wound enclosure platelets and other blood cells they get caught in this network and thus forms a blood clot which is also known as thrombus finally platelets and the endothelium release growth factors which control the wound healing process at the end of this process the fibrin network is dissolved by enzymes in the blood plasma in a healthy person's body a fine balance should be maintained between pre-coagulant and the anticoagulant factors so that coagulation only begins in order to heal injuries. Otherwise, the blood will remain li liquid in the fluid form and the small blood clots are immediately dissolved. Okay, as you can see in this diagram that uh, uh, this is a uh, your um, red blood cells this is your broken blood vessels okay uh, so um, coagulation casket takes place and fibrinogen is converted into fibrin finally and this is how a plug is formed okay this is how all the red blood cells are caught and plugged okay this is known as activated platelet which we also called it as thrombus okay so what happens in coagulation as i have told you that it's a signaling cascade of the blood coagulation is a suitable target for um, treating diseases also that involves dysregulated blood clotting or the absence of clotting okay so this is the coagulation as how the formation of the blood clot takes place it involves three stages students first in this first stage platelets they get attached to the endothelium blood vessel wall these are your platelets these white one are your platelets okay and what are these these are your rbcs and what is this this is your broken blood vessels okay so so, 
and this is this uh, purple one is your endothelium wall okay which is also known as blood vessel wall so platelets they attach to the endothelium or the blood vessel wall okay like this see they are attaching okay now comes the stage second in this the platelet they start to release fibrin and begin to seal the endothelium see uh, these platelet has uh, released uh, fibrins okay which they begin to seal the endothelium or the blood vessel wall like this see it it has uh, sealed the entire endothelium now comes the stage 3 in this what happens is the fibrin network it traps the rbc these this is a fibrin polymers that has formed a network kind of and thus it traps the rbc these are your rbcs so it traps the rbcs in it and it completely seals the endothelium like this see this is your endothelium right and it is now sealed totally sealed up so coagulation i hope it's clear to all of you that it involves three stages and how platelets they get attached to the endothelium how platelet they start to release the fibrin and thus it begins to seal the endothelium and the fibrin network it traps the rbc and completely seals the endothelium and this is how the formation of blood clot takes place so how it goes uh, tear in blood vessel first happens or you can say injury what happens then collagen comes into contact with the blood and there is another bifurcation what happens in that damaged cell membranes they release phospholipids okay they release phospholipids and these two bifurcations then uh, give rise to a plasma proteins uh, which are activated or uh, first platelets they form a pl plug over the tear as I have told you uh, in my um, last slide how a thrombus has formed uh, over the endothelium line so that is formed by the platelets okay that forms a plug over the tear where the injury has taken place okay and the plasma proteins then they are get activated and thus it forms a prothrombin prothrombin is an initial stage of thrombin okay and then it forms a thrombin thrombin it uh, helps in the conversion of soluble fibrinogen in the plasma fibrinogen is present in plasma so it helps fibrinogen in uh, gets converted into uh, insoluble fibrin with the help of this thrombin okay and thus this insoluble fibrin it forms a network of fibers to cover that tear okay and this is how blood coagulation takes place okay this is it uh, how the site of injury uh, clumped platelets comes and tissue come which release the thromboplastin and that forms a thrombokinase enzyme and in the presence of a ca2 plus uh, ion it hydrolyzes prothrombin into thrombin and then thrombin it helps in the conversion of fibrinogen which is present in a plasma to get converted into fibrin which is insoluble and thus it gets trapped and dead and damaged formed animal elements they form a clot which we also call it as a coagulum okay um, the, this the signaling cascade of the blood coagulation is a suitable target for treating diseases also which involves dysregulated blood clotting or the absence of clotting in the treatment of hemophilia for example a clotting factor that um, is replaced if it is deficient or missing on the other hand certain coagulation factors can be inhibited in order to prevent or and treat thrombosis okay so this is all about the blood coagulation and this ends with your circulatory system chapter so thank you and keep watching edupedia word videos and stay tuned